Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to do a live flight demonstration from the new DJI Dock 2. You'll see in this view from our rooftop, on the right we have the original DJI Dock 1, and on the left we have the new DJI Dock 2. A little bit of rain on the camera. We do have a storm that's starting to roll in, a little bit dark outside. Winds are gusting every so often. You'll see those wind gauges start moving. We'll go to the on-dock camera on the dock two and take a look. Rain clouds are off in the distance there. Wind gauge in the upper left is moving. We'll come into DJI Flight Hub 2, which will be our main flight operations platform for this demonstration. Worth noting, the DJI Dock 2 itself is IP55 rated, and the aircraft is IP54 rated. So a little bit of rain today it will not be a problem for us. As we come in here on our dock operations in Irvine, California, you'll see we've got a lot going on on the map. A quick explanation of things. Our red areas are geozones that we've set up for restriction. We do not want to fly into those areas. Uh, you'll see we've got a jail across the street. We've got a area marked here for a red tail hawk nest that we want to keep the aircraft away from. We have some restricted land out here. We've geofenced off this road. All areas that have been synced to the aircraft, so the aircraft knows that even in a lost link scenario, the aircraft should not fly over these areas. And then the larger green circle here is our flight zone. So we want to stay within this circle at all point in time. Again, if it were to lose link, the aircraft knows that it cannot go out of this circle. These are easily set within the Flight Hub 2 platform here. They can easily be enabled, disabled as needed, but this is restricting us to be able to fly within areas we want to and outside of areas we do not want to fly. As we come in here, we can see the dock is online. We can click into our dock operations panel, which you'll see here. If we click live, that'll show us that camera that's on top of the dock. We have our telemetry coming through as well from on the dock. It's about 66 out, showing our internet. If we had any media to upload, it would be showing here. We'll see that when we come back and land after this flight. It will sync that media into Flight Hub. As you can see, we're still charging up a little bit at 82% from a previous flight. What I will do here is jump into the flight. I will first take aircraft control. Once I've got aircraft control within Flight Hub 2, I will then click take off. This will bring up my pre-flight check where I want to set my different altitudes that I want to operate at within this mission. Also on a signal loss, do I want to return home or do I want to hover or continue? Got all that set here, so I'll execute our takeoff. The overall process from the aircraft being off to the dock opening up to the aircraft taking off is about 45 to 60 seconds. You see the lid of the dock open up there. We'll take a quick look here. The lid is now open and the dock is sitting there. What it will do, it'll spool up the motors to make sure they're free of any obstacles. It'll stop them and then it'll start the motors again and take off the aircraft. Oh, right now that the aircraft is launched, the dock will close itself back up to keep any debris out of there or moisture or rain while we're flying. There we go. It's all closed up. Come back into Flight Hub 2. Now as the aircraft's getting airborne, we can turn on our Matrice 3 TD camera. We'll turn off this on-dock camera. We don't need that anymore. Hit live. There we go. Make this window a little bit bigger. We've gotten to our altitude we preset. We can now take over manual aircraft control simply by using our key inputs. I'm using the Q, W, E, A, S, and D keys to fly the aircraft. You'll see these in the lower left of this window. The C and Z keys are for my altitude. I can then click in the upper left here and take payload control. So that way I can move the camera and gimbal up and down or yaw left and right. What I'll do is I'll fly over here and we have some different annotations we marked on the map. We can take a look at these solar panels. We'll look at this gas tank as well. 
and we'll move between our different cameras using that different imagery. So while I'm facing this direction, what I'll do on my map, I'll click on the gas tank. I will face that pinpoint. The aircraft will spin around and face the camera towards the tank. I'm in my wide camera here, but what I can do is right click and draw a box around that subject. It'll switch into my zoom. And if I wanna bring it in even more, I'll draw a box again. And there is our tank. I'll take a photo of the tank. Using my mouse wheel, I can scroll back out and bring out the zoom. I'll switch back to our wide. We have these solar panels off to the aircraft's right. Gimbal down. Click into my IR camera. We are now looking at those panels in white hot. Using my color panel selection here, I can choose different color palettes. Switching to iron bow for solar panels. I can also add side by side so we can see the thermal on the left and the RGB wide camera on the right. We'll take a photo. Come back just into the thermal view. Close out this menu. Switch back to wide. And we'll carry on with our flight. You'll see our telemetry right beneath our live image here, um, our altitude, our battery, our horizontal speed, distance from our dock or home point. It also is showing our wind direction relative to the aircraft's front and its speed. Rain is right in the vicinity. What we'll do at this point is fly to a fly to location. So on our map, we're gonna set a location that is beyond this NFC obstacle test so we can see what Flight Hub 2 will do to navigate around this NFC. So we'll fly to this location. As you can see, it would have to bring us through the NFC. We'll start. And it automatically brings us around that NFC. While we're flying to that location, I know we have someone who wants to tune into the live video feed and see what we're seeing. So what I'll do in Flight Hub 2, I'll click share, make sure a live stream sharing's on. I'll take this link and share it with them or have them scan the QR code. And they'll be able to see our live feed from Flight Hub. As you can see, we're getting an upward sensors blurry error as we uh, get into a little bit of rain. We still do have good five mile visibility, however. It works its way around the NFC there to get to our fly to point. We're almost there. We do have someone tuning into the feed with an iPad. I will take a look at what they see on their iPad. So they're tuning into the stream here. They've got a crystal clear view of that stream. And we can look around from that fly to point. Check out these mulch piles. And if you remember, we do have a, a no fly zone here that we're going to run into. And slowing up the aircraft as we near it. And we're getting a prompt that we have reached the geozone boundary. So at this point, we'll do another fly to. Um, we'll start coming back this direction. Fly to this location. It will find its way around that NFC. We'll take a look at that iPad stream as well. See how that's looking. Crystal clear. We do have an RC Pro Enterprise paired to the aircraft standing with the visual observer of this aircraft. I uh, can take a look at their controller feed here. At any point in time, they could take aircraft control simply by clicking on that aircraft icon in the upper left. 
Uh, we'll have them do that here in just a few seconds. We'll have them take aircraft control. And now they can operate this aircraft just like they normally would, uh, not being on a dock. They've got payload control, gimbal control. They can move between their cameras if they wish. However, at any point in time, I'll come back into Flight Hub, uh, I could take aircraft control simply by clicking aircraft control. And I've now taken that control back from them and I have my manual flight controls back within Flight Hub 2. I'll take my payload control as well. And our telemetry shows we've got 63% battery remaining. 495 feet away from our dock location. We'll do a quick test here and we'll read a license plate put on one of these trucks. I'll go into our wide camera. I can be in any camera, but I'll draw a box around these trucks. It switches into our zoom. We'll have to descend here a little bit to get a better angle on the license plate. I can double tap to bring our gimbal back up. I'll pull in on this plate and I will take an image. Perfect. Come back into wide, tilt their camera back up. We'll fly around a little bit more here. While I'm flying at any point in time, I can just hit the pause, which is the space bar and the aircraft goes into a hover. Pilot with a controller still has their feed. Let's see here. Yep, they've got their feed. Our viewer on the iPad is still seeing their feed as well. Come back into Flight Hub. Our dock on the rooftop should be closed. Let's just make sure. Yep, it is closed. And it's a little bit wet. Let's do this. If you remember here, we have a no fly zone. We'll get on the other side of it, perfectly on the other side between our dock and our aircraft location, putting that NFC right in the middle. And at this point in time, if we were to return to home, it's going to have to navigate around that no fly zone. So we'll go ahead, hit return to home in the upper right, and we'll start coming home. On the controller, they can see that we are returning home. We're going around that no-fly zone. At this point in time, the dock is still closed. Definitely, we're starting to lose visibility, so we should come in and land. Aircraft descending. Very soon, the dock will open up. There it goes. We can see our view in Flight Hub as we're coming down on the dock. It's going to position itself very well. Come in for a hover, make sure it's right over its cradle, and slowly descend down and drop itself in the cradle. There we go. This is the camera from the underside of the dock, showing us as it closes, and it's a little bit wet there. Aircraft is back inside the dock. We'll come back into Flight Hub 2 and we'll close down this video feed. At this point in time, the aircraft is going to sync the media into Flight Hub. So up here, you'll see the media is going to count down as it starts to upload. Our aircraft is now charging. It'll charge up to 90%, so it gets ready for the next flight. Our media is slowly working its way down. 
what we're going to do is share that license plate with someone. What we'll do once it starts finishing here, there we go. We'll come into the media files. We'll find the folder for that flight. It should be on top here as our latest flight. That was a visual image we took. Say we need to get this image quickly to someone. We can hit share, similar to what we did with the Flight Hub 2 stream. We'll just turn this on, have them scan this QR code. That way they can get this plate and share it where they need it. Or we could also simply download the image and send it. And same with all these. You'll see our, our different images we took throughout that flight. These are all synced in the Flight Hub. We could plot them on the map if we wanted to. One last thing I'll show real quick is the mapping modeling side of things. We did a map model test. You'll see we're just bringing in the satellite imagery that's readily available, but we could bring in our map overlay if we wanted to, and that way we'd work from current imagery of this flight operations area. So now that higher resolution map that we flew off the dock earlier is overlaid within our Flight Hub operations panel. As you can see, our aircraft is charged a little bit more, up to 56%. And we'll be ready for the next flight soon. So appreciate you tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next flight.